Tell agricultural leaders from Taiwan they're here. In the Hoosier State today, they announced a multi billion dollar purchase of Indiana corn and soybeans. It's a big shot in the arm for Indiana farmers. Thank you for your investment in Indiana and in the lives of our farmers here in our state. Taiwan's agricultural delegation is buying roughly $2.2 billion worth of Indiana corn and soybeans over the next two years. It couldn't come at a better time. The U.S. trade war with China continues to impact Indiana farmers. The U.S. Department of Agriculture data shows the volume of exports of soybeans are down 24 percent from 2018 to 2019. The trade war has um, been very, very serious for Indiana farmers as well as American agriculture. Monday's agreement is very reassuring. It's very, very important for us to, to have this uh, trading partner. Um, trade is the lifeblood for, for U.S. grain, uh, corn and soybean farmers. It's absolutely critical. Taiwan's Council of Agriculture Deputy Minister tells me their delegation comes to the U.S. every two years since 2008 to buy high quality American agricultural products. He says there's a need for soybeans among Taiwanese people. In the morning, they drink soy milk, yeah, everyone, everybody yeah, in Taiwan. And these soy milk are made from the U.S. soybeans. Indiana's lieutenant governor says this is more than just a trade deal. It's the deep cultural bond that ties us together. The Indiana-Taiwan relationship is built on mutual respect, shared values, economic success, and perhaps most importantly, our relationships. The Indiana Corn and Soybean Checkoff says it is up to the private companies that are part of the Taiwan group to decide when they start to receive the shipments of corn and soybeans. In the State House, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.